Hey everyone, Rohan Thavan here, founder of UAbility, and today I have uh, one of our clients of UAbility Elite program, uh, Abid, with me, who started working with us approximately around last year. It's almost been a year now, and uh, the results that he has achieved so far are again phenomenal. But before we get into the results, Abid, let's let's just talk a little bit about you, man. Uh, just tell everybody, uh, you know, a little bit about your background. Introduce yourself. Where are you from, and what exactly do you do? Yeah, hi, hi. Uh, my name is Abid Ali Khan, and I position myself a health and fitness business growth expert. And I help uh, all the fitness uh, uh, businesses and fitness experts to go online and create a business around their passion and uh, scale and charge as much as they deserve, not to go and just uh, put the dumbbell back on the rack right, and how, how most of the trainers are doing in the gym. Uh, so that's uh, uh, what uh, uh, I do now in my background. I have been into business. I started my business in 2010 when I have scaled my business from zero to 10 crore and then came back to ground zero. Then then I thought about, you know, if, if I do any business, I will not create a business where I have a lot of liabilities because the real business uh, taught me having a lot of, you know, liabilities uh, create a havoc. Right. So then, uh, then I, uh, I, what I have done because I always been uh, very much into fitness. I have done a fitness uh, management course. I have, uh, I have uh, trained people. I, I was all, uh, uh, also, uh, uh, you know, with uh, Mickey Meta and all these people. So then I thought, okay, where my passion lies? Is it business? Uh, is it, uh, uh, you know, the digital marketing or is it uh, fitness? Uh, and then, then uh, you know, I thought about my passion lies into fitness, and mm -hmm. uh, because uh, when I was doing my business, I have I was doing a lot of uh, things on, on on digital platforms, so I learned a lot of things there. I invested around more than 20 lakh rupees in, in just learning uh, the technique and technology, wow. and then I combined my whole whole understanding about business, how really business works. And uh, and my uh, you know passion, which is always in fitness, and then use this platform called uh, uh, digital uh, platform, and then combine all these three uh, things, and then created what I am doing now. And uh, the U ability helped me a lot to to give me the clarity because I have done so many courses to understand how really things work. Uh, but all the people are just talking about the surface. Yeah. And nobody is taking us uh, uh, and and taking us deep down and making uh, understand how the really concept work. Right. And it is just like an, an, an super superficial part. People are giving knowledge, but nobody is holding hand and taking us. Okay, I'm there. Come come along with me, and I'll show you. Yeah. Uh, and uh, because earlier also I've done a couple of courses, uh, uh, and those people uh, basically give us a video. Yeah. We go through the video. And once we are stuck, because it is like a technology, even if in, even uh, a small uh, part you get stuck and you are like, you know, completely stuck. Right. And uh, then you have to wait for so many, uh, you know, maybe days and, and then follow them up. Uh, but that in your ability, it is like everything is very structured, you know, very detailed. It is not like, you know, if you want to just go and find the niche, it is. It is not just a couple of things you have been given and then you found a niche. No, uh, uh, once I have gone through this course, I understand how deeply, you know, we need to go and understand. Hmm. And uh, that is, that, that just widened my uh, whole understanding. And, uh, and uh, uh, then even, even if, if I'm getting stuck somewhere where I feel that I, I am not able to do it, then I have an access which is happening every uh, two days or three days, uh, you know, in a week, two, two uh, calls we have where we can go and, and uh, share our concern. And it is not like a concern where we go and there's a hundred people and, and these hundred people asking questions. So even if we have something which uh, we are having doubt, then like like you come all the way, you know, and, and share this thing, solve right there and then move on. So right. that's like a, that's like a great uh, uh, you know under, uh, uh, advantage being in, in U ability, which I have not found in most of the courses uh, which I have done earlier. Got it. Wow, man, that's like really insightful. By the way, just before we move forward, what kind of business were you running before? 
Uh, I was running a business, it's just a, a company called Prab, Space Saving Concepts Private Limited. Right. And uh, we were we were dealing uh, space saving furniture. Hmm. So it was a private level, uh, 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 you know, concept where there were uh, there were uh, people who were manufacturing on my brand, and I was marketing. So I was Got having it. around 38, 39 people having a go down several uh, go down offices in Mumbai. Uh, then the display area in, in most of the malls in Mumbai. Right. And uh, a lot of exhibition we were doing at that part. And then I shifted in 2012 when Amazon came and I shifted most of my business on Amazon. And I was really killing that point of time because most of the people were not knowing about Amazon. And I have done a course from the USA, it's called Amazing Selling Machine. And uh, at that point, I, I think I have paid two lakh for three or fifty thousand rupees. And that was amazing. I have learned a lot of things which I have applied here and I was feeling that point of time. My supplier were not able to supply me on time, so there's a lot of things go everywhere. And uh, that is how it's gone and then, you know, uh, demonetization came and then GST came. So there's a lot of things happened and my graph started coming down, down, down. So then I realized that it's, it's better to just, uh, you know, stop the operation. But the company is still uh, on, which I'm in the process to close down now. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, the operation and everything is shut now. Got it. Now, Abid, you have actually seen both sides of the coin. Like you have started like a physical business, which required like, you know, fix the furniture, right? And like the raw materials and everything else to work. And then you are now running a digital business, right? So ha did you notice like differences between both the businesses? What's like your opinion uh, regarding this in case, you know, anybody watching this video is confused which one they should do. Uh, what's your opinion regarding this, like e-commerce or this uh, digital consulting business? It's a huge, huge difference, you know, like people say the business is all about selling, which most of the time when I, I get into call with, um, with the people, with my clients and I ask them, uh, do you really would like to develop a business? And they say, yes, we would like to develop a business and we would like to scale it and we would like to uh, create a business which could sustain. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> so most of the people, they say the business is all about selling hmm. and making money. No, it is not. So uh, it is much uh, beyond that because business is, uh, selling is one part of the business which is like a very, very important part because if it is not there then, you know, all these things will not work. So business is all about really like I give always an example of a, a, a cycle or wheel, okay. The wheel has a different spoke and all these spokes require to be uh, sync together to run the wheel. Right. Uh, so, so once we are doing a business, we require to have, you know, the marketing, the sales. We need to have operations, uh, you know, accounts, uh, finance, uh, customer service, which is very, very important. Mm -hmm. uh, so these things we need to understand. So any person who is running a business, whether it is a digital part or whether it is a physical part, they need to understand and they need to be expert, not expert. At least they need to understand the basic part. Right. And then, you know, deliver or, or, or maybe delegate to the people who are really master into this. Now, mm -hmm. coming back to, to, to the questions which you have just asked about, uh, uh, you know, the uh, physical product or the digital product. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a huge difference between these. There's a right. huge difference. Because once you're doing a physical products, you are first risking a lot of money and you require a big capital mm -hmm. to run a business. Absolutely. Okay? You, you, you require a, a physical office to run a business, mm -hmm. you require capital to, to get the goods done or get, uh, get the good manufacturer, right. then, then you require, then you require a, a team to really to, to go into the market and sell and then, uh, uh, then you are always sitting on, 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 on the risk. Right. The risk part, uh, because business is all about taking risk. Mm -hmm. But when I'm saying the the uh, uh, the difference between which is bigger risk and which is a smaller risk, mm -hmm. when when we come here in the digital part, digital part you have to work only once. Right. Okay. To create a digital product. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whether it is a consulting, because even in consulting you require to have a flow, you require to have everything. How what you are going to deliver. Okay, and then you need to really deliver that promise which you have made. 
right and then have a best uh, customer service now that's only what your investment team is at the beginning hmm. okay and now if you come in the uh, physical product every time you are selling hmm. you need to create a need for that right okay? mm-hmm. you you need you need to keep manufacturing to sell here once you're only creating once and right. just you need to upgrade you know maybe like you have a version 1 version 2 version 3 or what you what basically you're doing you're just you know having a improved uh, the same concept but improvement yeah but here you have to improve even the physical product you have to improve you have to create again and again hmm. and then you have to stick with a lot of liabilities right know, the, the stock because it, the stock you have to keep hmm. uh, with you even if you are doing a great market and and you have penetrated in the market hmm. and uh, if you don't have a stock even the stock comes with the layer like for example i give you an example of amazon hmm. i was doing an fba so it right. is a uh, fulfill fulfillment by uh, amazon mm-hmm. so we used to ship our product from our godown to amazon godown so suppose i have a 100 pieces there and i'm running an ad on on amazon not on a digital platform on amazon inside mm. and then it's spiked mm. so now the same same number i have to keep in my godown mm. ready and the same i need to have with the manufacturer right and 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 then then the third, fourth layer comes where there is a uh, you know the manufacturing is going on the raw material and everything is ready for that hmm. so the moment and that is stored then whatever stock i have i need to ship there because right. it takes time it is not immediately you know even if you are doing with amazon it takes time to ship uh, your product to amazon uh, warehouse exactly uh, so it's required a couple of times so then uh, then from you go down there and then you have to keep the same thing with with the with the manufacturer hmm. so <clears throat> even only the stock what you have is not enough hmm. you need to have a cycle of the stock so that kind of money you need to invest right uh, into but here is not and and what i have failed you know when i have done uh, uh, in in like it was around uh, 4 to 5 lakh in a month hmm. and i used to do the turnover of 50 to 60 lakh uh, a month and at the end in my pocket <laughs> i was always in negative because wow. uh, because you know why because i have to pay a several people Hmm. I have to pay to the manufacturer. I have to pay to the uh, you know my operation costs, my salary, hmm. uh, and uh, and you as an entrepreneur always have your number at the end. Exactly. And at the end, <laughs> at the end, um, and I was just drawing a salary because uh, it is. I was a director. It is a, a private limited company, hmm. and I was just drawing a salary. Hmm. So I have never gone uh, beyond that salary. I was always on salary. You were stuck there. Yeah, working day in and day out, and taking so much tension. And when I have done this, now I realize that this is much, much better. Hmm. Uh, because here you can outsource everything, and still you have no fixed liabilities because you don't invite all the people to sit with you. You can just uh, have your virtual assistant, virtual people who are working from their home or their offices wherever they are. and they're giving you the best results you don't even need to you know every day you don't need to take a meeting like i used to take every day sales meeting and my accounts meeting and my marketing meetings mm. uh, just to know where they are and what they're doing here you don't need to you just need to yeah uh, as as even you have taught in the course that how you delegate mm. you know because if you are clear to uh, and then you are delegating then there is an issue but once you are knowing and just delegating they are doing Yeah, uh, their work. You are doing your work, which is important for you, you, and which which uh, gives you the money or or which gives you really uh, uh, cash flow. So right. you have full focus there, and rest of the work you have delegated, and the cash flow is coming to you, and you have a less tension, less you know moderation. That is the right. difference. What I feel that I, it's, it's a huge difference. It's not. Uh, Uh, it's not only i'll say the financial difference mm-hmm. but the mental emotional physical everything everything right. so i'm much of a guy i have i run my own uh, you know like my own rituals which is i'm completely free which i never used to feel that time i have to just rush here mm-hmm. there is no rush you, you get up in the morning you do your rituals you uh, then you get uh, get on the walk mm-hmm. so this is a huge difference
right so basically to summarize what ended up happening is you had this business that was doing multiple crores in turnover but at the end it was taking losses and you were getting that fixed salary only you were not growing beyond that but then when you start your own consulting business even though your turnover in terms of revenue reduced but you're still making more money through this business because it's and it's also more flexible and it gives you higher margins and you can basically delegate and you can have a stress free life right this is the benefit true 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 wow. so at the beginning what happens when you you select some some product and you start doing it and mm. because you know most of the uh, entrepreneur when they start journey like yeah. when i started my journey i was also working with some corporate and then i i was good in sales and marketing and i thought okay why don't i start my own business that is how most mm. of the people they start business but uh, this is one part of the business so once right. they start doing and then you know the cash flow starts mm. and we have a mindset mindset of an employee mindset which we you know directly jump and and transit into an entrepreneur uh, uh, cheers i will right. not say mindset and cheers mm. and that is a huge conflict happens at the beginning mm. so you you see those money coming in and then you mm-hmm. start having uh, you know extra uh, expenses you would like to show to the people okay see i am now an entrepreneur and i i i earn money so i start spending uh, on on unnecessary things which you right. would like to pay you know, to the people now you are an entrepreneur to show off and <laughs> to show up really and that's that's create a havoc in the life and i i'm not just saying about myself but i'm i have seen couple of people and lot of people and then it goes for 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 couple of days and then the graph starts coming down hmm. because now because now the operation is increasing sales is increasing team is increasing and you are not equipped hmm. you are just equipped to sell by yourself hmm. and then uh, you know your system and policies are not in place mm. you don't know what what should i i really expect from my employee whom i am i am hiring mm. and then the conflict happens between um, between the employee and 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 the boss mm. because he is saying that i want you to do this and he is saying sir i am not clear right okay so there is no, no policies and system on place Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, you know, and all the time we are running after sales, running after sales. The customer service and everything is is just one part of the business, but it is not happening that way. Mm-hmm. Complaint is coming. So there is a lot of things happens. But here, yeah, here also you have to do customer service. You have to deliver the best whatever the promises being made. But uh, you know, uh, the difference only here at the point of when we sell. Hmm. Uh, once we sell the physical products, so the people can see that feel and really experience the product. But hmm. when we are selling a concept or the consultancy or 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 anything which is based on the concept, here we really don't uh, show anything. We just we just uh, show them a promise. Hmm. Okay, and right. just, uh, trigger uh, trigger their emotions and 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 tell them what the solution we can really provide. So here the selling become little. Uh, tough, but mm. if, if if the person is doing the way you you guys have taught us, it is like phenomenal. It is like amazing. You know, it's okay. just it's very simple. It's simple. The pro- if somebody has a problem, like you have also said that uh, the business is is all about solving problems. You can solve mm. problem through a product or through a service. So if even we are solving a problem uh, through services, and if he has a problem, and we take them uh, to the solution and just show them the way. That's right. it, and 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 uh, that the way you have taught us uh, about selling, that is that that's a phenomenal. Like is is working like crazy because I have experience in in sales and marketing. Uh, we have been uh, you know given this kind of training even when I was working with Times of India, uh, but not this way, not this way. So this is like crazy, this crazy. Right, that's really amazing, man, and. I think one thing that I you know respect about you and one thing that I would like to learn from you and in fact I'm sure everybody watching would like to learn is uh, abid you were you know before doing all this digital stuff you were the director of a company that was doing you know really well okay like in terms of revenue and you know usually what a lot of business owners do they develop this ego right they develop this ego that i'm doing so you know like i i am the director i don't need to like learn more right 
and then my question is despite being like a director you then decided okay to you know step back you know from like the turnover that you had and then start fresh with an open mind and also trust somebody who's like younger than you to actually teach you something so what my question is how did you develop this mindset that you know and how did you get rid of that ego which kills a lot of business owners and a lot of people um you know badly so how did you develop this you know i'll t- i'll share with you see i am basically i'll just share my background okay mm. i belong to a state called bihar mm. okay and uh, you know in india bihar is considered a backward state and then then i belong to a, a muslim family I and mean, in muslim family i'm also a pathan so pathan has mm. a lot of attitude Hmm. You know, the Pakistan now is very famous because of the Taliban and all these things going on. Uh, so they have lot of attitude. So when I came uh, here in Mumbai, I first came to Pune and then came to Mumbai. Hmm. Uh, I was having the same kind of mindset, hmm. very rude, hmm. rigid, uh, uh, like full of attitude. Hmm. And also, I belong to uh, you know, I'm not just uh, boasting myself. That is the truth. I also belong to a Jamindar family. Right. So we are always like uh, you know in I keep ordering things we don't hmm. request we just order hmm. that kind of attitude I came to Mumbai uh, first I came to uh, Pune uh, where I finished uh, the rest of my study and then I moved to uh, Mumbai so at very first I realized that this attitude is not going to work here hmm. it is enough the story is enough here and but still you know but uh, but until unless you don't go deep down and understand yourself. Hmm. from where you are operating and why you are operating the way you are operating hmm. so then i joined uh, 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 one of my group i may say i follow uh, his name is uh, shri uh, ravi prabhakar hmm okay and he runs this uh, is called ssy siddhi samadhi yoga hmm okay and uh, in siddhi samadhi yoga is nothing to do with any religion or anything it's just for the human uh, being Hmm. to understand the emotions so how it works really how emotion works so it 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 it, it consists of all three part hmm. so what you you eat through your mind is what you are consuming hmm. from your mind what you consume from your tongue hmm. and how you are uh, you have developed or you have grown hmm. around this society so uh, uh, and they they teach about the uh, about the food the physical activity meditations and realizing Right. So then I started realizations that okay, where I'm standing, where where the things are going on. So then the, the concept which they have shared with us is is called nobody miss. Hmm. And and the concept I'm I'm also sharing, and I think a lot of people will get benefited. Uh, the example what they have given us is is this that suppose uh, there is a hit film which hmm. is really super duper hit hmm. and. Uh, and uh, multi crore uh, that film has earned hmm. so how this movie got hit this hmm. movie got hit because each and every part or each and every character even even in the troops in 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 the production house of the actor they have given their 100% right okay so they hmm. have given their 100% so even in our life when we are playing lot of lot of lot of roles hmm. so suppose i am sitting with you and uh, you know you are like my guru for for particular things and if i do cylinder hmm. to you then i will not able to get what i want hmm. okay so uh, you are playing role with me now you are not the same a uh, 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 person uh, the way you are behaving uh, with me the moment you are off from here hmm. you go uh, you become a brother you become a sister you may become a uh, husband but you have to play that role 100% Hmm. why most of the, uh, the conflict is happening whether it be in relationship or any other the people are not playing 100% right. what is expected so the concept comes when we are playing once you realize this once uh, we are playing a role so my name is abhi dali khan okay and then the people with uh, 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 start getting ego why hmm. start getting ego suppose i got i became an entrepreneur i became a director Uh, suppose I become a politician. Hmm. So what happened then? I carry that identity along with me. Hmm. Okay. I can even I come 
to my friend and say, hey, do you know who am I? I'm a director of the company. Hmm. I, I, come, I come to my wife and I say, do you know who am I? Hmm. And you're talking to me like this. Hmm. But it should not, that is a role I have to play there. Right. Okay. In, in the moment I get into my office, I'm a director and I have to behave that. Even my, hmm. my friend was working and hmm. he was my childhood friend. He was working with me, but he, I, I made this concept very clear to him. I said, you know, at the moment I get into the office, you are not my friend. I am a director here and hmm. I have to play that role. Exactly. The moment we are out, we, the moment we are out hmm. then we are friends. Okay, so now this, so when, once we are playing, once we understand that we are just playing a role and we have to play 100% to be successful in the life, then at the end, who am I? Hmm. Who am I? So basically, I am nobody. I am right. just playing a role and I have to play 100%. The moment I realized it, that all my ego gone down. Hmm. So, the, you know, like like this understanding I am a Pathan is gone because hmm. that, that was just there. Right. And I'm a zamindar, it's gone. Hmm. Because that was the role you have to play. Here and now you have to play. So the moment I like, realize this, then all the ego is, is become zero. So now if somebody I meet, I don't see him as, as X, Y, Z. I just see him an energy. Hmm. And if he has the same energy like me. He has the same emotion like me. So once you say that you know joining you first of all i don't surrender to a, a, everybody hmm. and i why why i don't surrender i don't uh, consider anybody as a guru why because until unless that person has not achieved what he is talking about hmm. and he has not walked on the path what he is showing us hmm. then he could not be right. he's just talking Okay, and the moment he, whether, whether it is a spiritual guru or, or, or fitness guru or talk about the digital guru. So once I have seen you, I have gone through inside you, you may remember when once we have a one-to-one and mm-hmm. then I have asked you a couple of questions about mm-hmm. you know, the negative review and all these things. So I have gone and, and understood that what you are saying is right, then, uh, then there is a, uh, then one of my friend is also with you, his name is uh, uh, Chet Malani or something, what is name? Romit. Romit. Right. So Romit, Romit is also, then I called Romit and then Romit said, no boss, you just go. That is what he's saying is, is absolutely right. So mm-hmm. I then surrender. The Once I surrender to you, then then no ego. So whatever you, you will ask me, I will do it. Because once I don't surrender, and once I surrender, I consider you a guru, mm-hmm. then, then, then there is no ego. The, the, right. the, the director role I was just playing that point of time. Hmm. Now I am playing a student role and I have to play 100%. If hmm. I carry the same role, then the ego comes and then the ego comes, then everything is just destroyed. I will hmm. not be able to learn from you because I have not surrendered. Hmm. And then I will not be able to give uh, whom I would like to give because I have not considered myself uh, an expert. Hmm. So that is how you know I, I, I zero down. So I even I, I learn from. Uh, the person who has no experience, but he has master in something. So if right. he has master into something, then it is it is up, up to me to surrender to him and uh, take whatever he has. Right. That's a very valuable point that you've actually put across because I think most people don't change themselves because of this role that they are stuck in and this ego that surrounds that role. And I think that's why they never evolve. And you know great job uh, you know that you were able to overcome that and become this new person that you are today and uh, you know one more thing that I noticed about you despite you know your family history and you know your business history and everything you as you're telling me you kept investing in yourself to learn right so a lot of business owners especially that you know as you said you come from a background where you are supposed to just order right not take requests so you know, a lot of these business owners have this mentality that I could just outsource this, you know, I don't need to learn, I don't need to, you know, invest and take an education course, let us let me just hire somebody and just do it for me, right? So my question is that how did you also develop this mentality to invest in yourself? So you got rid of your ego, but how did you develop this mentality to keep learning, keep educating yourself and keep learning from different kind of people? Okay. So see, first of all, you know, uh, it, it started at the very beginning because I passed out from Urdu medium school. I'm, mm. I'm, I'm uh, not a, a, you know, uh, 
convent school student and yet you so, speak great english man <laughs> <laughs> yeah just just like you i you know i just uh, and it happens you know the, you know like tony robbins always said people only changed uh, by pain or pleasure hmm. so i have gone because i have gone through so much pain in terms of humiliation embarrassment and then i realized that i would change myself and right. then i keep working on that and then i i really changed Mm. Now coming back to the questions which you were saying that you know if if we just delegate, mm. uh, there are people uh, you know they will work uh, on your behalf. But if you have not walked on that path, mm. how would you delegate? And Absolutely. How would you really show them what 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 result you want? Because mm. you yourself is is not hundred percent sure. Mm. So here, uh, here here first you learn, you apply on yourself, mm. you learn. You apply on yourself because see nowadays everybody, everybody is talking about the education, the knowledge. Mm. They are sharing knowledge. You go on and on on YouTube. What not is available? Everything, right. whatever you are teaching, also available. Mm-hmm. Okay, but that that is coming from the knowledge. Mm. Okay, so so how the knowledge converts into wisdom? The mm. knowledge converts into wisdom, but once you apply on yourself. Hmm. So you, I get knowledge from you, and I apply on myself. Then I have a different experience that maybe roam it, hmm. okay? Uh, and then, then I take off something and create my own by right. adding something here and there based on my understanding and based on my upbringing, hmm. okay? And make it a better to bring to the market. The same goes here. So if I would like to delegate somebody. Then I need to first learn, apply on myself, walk on that path, and then I need to take, hmm. and then I really get the result. If I I don't have uh, you know learned that I have I have not applied on myself, and I'm just telling uh, you know somebody to do it, then it become very difficult, and that is where the contradiction happens, and that is where the lot of you will get even online the people are saying that you know the VA doesn't work because you need to have your own team. Hmm. Uh, otherwise, you will not get uh, the things done. Every everything you have to see by yourself and hmm. get the thing done. Uh, so that is where the conflict is because you have not applied and learned everything. You have not created. Hmm. Uh, you have created the expectation what you want from your uh, your uh, person, and the expectation only you can create once you know what 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 I need uh, need to get and how the things work. Right. And uh, uh, this reason is very very important to. Invest because see, if you don't invest yourself and uh, uh, like I have started my business, I invested first, right? Mm. I have invested first, then mm. then uh, uh, taken the risk, invested, taken the risk, and I was not sure whether I will be able to get that or not. Mm. So here also goes the same way. I am the product, I am the brand, I am everything, and I have to invest on myself. Mm. I have to invest on myself to get the result. Mm. And and if I am not uh, Uh, you know, investing in myself, and I have this uh, you know mindset that okay, uh, let's let's stretch a little bit. Things will work out. Things mm. will be okay. It is not going to to be okay because I have I have seen I have done this all uh, with several people. Mm. Uh, you know, they share they given the knowledge, but not exactly. Uh, how it should be. Uh, we we need we need you know like if, if it is new thing the way you guys are teaching, hmm. uh, anybody could could just uh, get on that. Hmm. Anybody could understand because it is it is it is been programmed in such a way. It is like a step by step process. Hmm. There is no need to apply your brain. <laughs> just do as it is. See, I I am not a, a, a website developer. Hmm. Okay. I've never developed a website, and it was in my mind that it is too complicated. Right. It was too difficult, and the way you have given the the you know uh, step by step instruction, I have directly follow followed it, and uh, just applied a little bit of my understanding, and then it's it's done. Wow. And it's 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 it is ready. So 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 how it is? Uh, it, it depends also. Okay, if if I'm learning from somebody. First of all, we before delivering or before delegating to anyone, we need to be knowledgeable. Mm-hmm. We need to apply on ourselves, and then from where the knowledge is coming, mm-hmm. whether it is in a structured way or not. Because I'm, as I'm saying that on YouTube, all the knowledge is available, but it is not in a structured way. Right. Okay. It's scattered. The way, like, yeah, the way you are guys are delivering and giving 
it is like a step by step process so deep so you know you understand you connect everything and you then know okay this is where i was i have been making mistakes hmm. you know nobody has taught me why they have not taught me they, and then you start feeling like they have cheated me hmm. okay they have just delivered the promise instead of delivering the, the real result so so what i'm trying to bring here is uh, first you need to learn and mm. and one should not hesitate you know there is always a money problem and and this is again it, it is a mindset which you have uh, you know also uh, cleared with me at very beginning that it is a mindset because when i joined uh, with you or your course uh, that time also i was not having money because i was running into debt still i am in debt which, which is just it is a part of that which is which will be okay so i have arranged this one mm. that like know that I have to surrender to this person. Hmm. He, he knows what he is talking about. He hmm. has done what he wants me to to do. So now I just need to surrender. I need to follow his instruction, and I have to walk on his path. And then I'll be there where I would like to. That's right. it. got it and at that time you didn't know how to make a website. You didn't have any digital business. You were literally starting from start, right? no digital knowledge i was having in okay. terms of uh, 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 say uh, your uh, digital platform mm. I, i i knew that you know the facebook and all these things uh, i've done a couple of courses right. but not how to develop a website mm. so website was always you know i was very scared in terms of i, I used to think there is a lot of uh, you know uh, technical things involved into into uh, developing a business but uh, sorry developing a website but uh, the way you have explained it is like you know just you copy the code here you just put here and and so detailed nobody has taught this even even i have done you know on udemy i have around say uh, 90 courses or 100 courses i have bought on udemy and i have done a couple of courses from udemy also but no it is it is it was difficult to understand even there it was uh, un- difficult to understand from the expert also but right. uh, the way you have explained it was uh, superb it was like so clear and, and you didn't uh, have any the, business uh, of digital consulting then right you were not serving fitness experts then before joining no uh, no before joining i was not because I, when i have done my fitness uh, management course it's long but before it started my own business right uh, got it i have done from i have done the course from lena mogre in mumbai Hmm. and then i started uh, assisting miki mehta hmm. uh, he is a spiritual guru and then uh, then i joined uh, corporate houses and then i started uh, my own business and hmm. in business i have learned the digital things right okay, how to promote product on on digital platform right. but not like like where you are talking about and you are telling and and you know like uh, even i was doing then once i i left uh, my my Uh, business is is shut the operation is shut then then i started doing a business consulting with the people to share my knowledge you know like msmes hmm. uh then still i was not feeling like this is where i belong to right got okay it. so then, then, uh, when we came into the niche clarity and then uh, then i just realized okay this is my ip guy this is where i need to be hmm. and this is my passion lies and this is what i would be doing even after 10 years Mm. and uh, uh, then then i thought okay let's go in. and it. it was it was nice and it was uh, great uh, in terms of serving people like like the the mentality which have changed a lot with you in 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 uh, in, in the first part of the course mm. where you talked about the mindset mm. and that's it because even if the people you will do that mindset thing Hmm. and they go one by one one by one of your lecture hmm. it's like whatever you're charging is much more than that clearly <laughs> because that is what play the important role this is not the technique it's not the technology hmm. it is here hmm. okay it is here so once the person goes through that then they realize okay okay this is how oh, you know i need to go and uh, Uh, uh so that's one side said because i have also done earlier also a lot of these uh, mindset things and all hmm. so i could really grasp it very fast and getting my own vision book and all this thing i have a vision book which is a so 
take having all the vision including my spirituality about the country about the society about uh, my finances my family everything i have a vision for hmm. but uh, the way you have said it is uh, 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 mind work so that i i uh, i like the law in that part of uh, the course got it man fantastic so that happened so okay abid when you joined us right i remember our initial q and a calls when we were discussing that you know you were in, in the initial days you were attracting not so good quality leads and uh, you know you were struggling a little bit uh, initially so talk to me about how did you end up going from that struggling stage and having zero clients and you know literally starting out from uh, start to signing you know your, your 10 high ticket clients and you know doing what you're doing per month now so uh, now at that point of time because uh, 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 you know there is always something which is called uh, uh, not enough hmm. okay that that's the like scarcity mindset right so i was having this in my mindset that okay what i'm going to charge and hmm. what i i have planned and priced my service it is little on a higher side hmm. because the the niche which i'm targeting hmm. they are going through some struggle and they don't have money right okay, if you remember our q and a call once hmm. uh, uh i i said to you that okay uh, should i you know charge less and you said okay there is a there is a if somebody likes your your whole concept and the problem which you are solving hmm. then they will pay you they will arrange hmm. it is not about the money hmm. so i i understood uh, you know that is uh, that is where i should uh, also operate hmm. and uh, uh, in in your course also is it is not that you go directly full fledge into the market you go on an organic way mm. you develop there and that is that is the base part because uh, there you get people mm. where you understand what really you need to deliver mm. so it is uh, those exercises which you have laid down in the course mm. those exercises is basically preparing you and we most of the people you including me get frustrated okay mm. uh, like we are meeting people we are trying to convince them we are we are promising so many things to them but why they are not buying it but uh, later on i understand that this is the foundation is being built okay mm. so the foundation of being built means uh, you know we are getting Uh, that how we need to present we are mm. getting how we need to really even even something goes wrong how we need to really take it in a positive way so mm. we are being prepared and then happens slowly 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 and goes up and then it multiplies mm. like i'm reading a book which is called the compound effect okay mm. and then uh, when i was reading this recently i bought it and then when i was reading then i can realize okay now this is small small things which i have done is Then compound the compound then hmm okay and then got the result it is not one day you will start you hmm. know, seeing the result it takes time like it is like uh, like how farmers are farmers are the greatest greatest uh, businessmen hmm. and the patients and the entrepreneur they are uh, we are not because they they throw the all uh, grains into the field and then just patiently they wait hmm. and and still they go and you know they do all the possible things to Uh, to to save those uh, uh, you know plant so so same way on the on the beginning then uh, i i started doing there uh, there was a hesitation there was a frustration you know i and i used to share with you also on the qni call and uh, then it got compounded and in a day uh, in in june july yeah in june i closed three clients in a day wow okay three three client in a day and uh, see i am not very odd spoken person so i i, I didn't share in the group because mm. i feel that okay uh, again you know like it is ticket okay, it's, it's okay so i've done three uh, 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 sales so each each uh, um, client was worth 50000 rupees so one like 50000 rupees i have done wow. in a day and uh, so then i realized why it is happening because those things i have done if i if i would have not done those things it would have not happened now hmm. so so that's that's how things works and that that the people can realize once once they understand this this concept called compounding effect hmm. you know, it's it slowly slowly builds up 
And I remember that you know, because I can relate with this uh, the one of your talk in lecture when you say you have to put reps every day mm. because muscles cannot build in a day. Mm. You have to go and uh, just do it. Mm. So even I go to the gym and I remember always that I have to put reps every mm. day. And if I don't do on consistent basis and I just want to uh, you know get results, it is not possible. Absolutely. It is, it is really not possible because it is against the law, it is against the nature. If exactly. the apple is going to fall, it is going to fall on earth only, it is going to down only. Mm. No, I cannot change that apple should not come down, it should go up. Mm. Uh, it it not happen. It, so the same goes here, it is, it is a law and we have to follow. And whatever you are teaching, you are teaching based on the uh, law, you are based on the uh, uh, logic, uh, uh, you know, the science, it is not just uh, something way you are, you, you know, you came up with and saying that you do this and you do that. No, it is a science, it is a proven method and that is how it's worked. And that is the base part, you know, the, you guys supported the beginning because at the beginning is the very, very important part mm. in the whole session where we, first of all, in the people, they think that, okay, we have invested so much money into this, mm. the first thing, that I'm, I'm not, you know, talking about myself, so I have invested two, two lakh, three lakh rupees in my uh, course, but still, you know, I'm saying that when, when the course is available in just 5,000 rupees and this man is charging so much, mm. you know, so, uh, and then things are not working, mm. uh, then, you know, these two things combined, Hmm. Okay, first, back of the mind is running that I have paid that much money and I have to, you know, do uh, something. Just as fast as possible, I have to recover that. Hmm. And, uh, but we forget, in, in, meanwhile, we forget the law. The law is right. that it is not about the money, it is about the putting reps. Exactly. And the guru, the guru who is showing you the way, you just need to be patient and follow his, uh, uh, you know, uh, the way he is showing. That's it. So it's wow. very simple, the simple things which we have taught us to just follow. Uh, uh, if I summarize it, just first, you have to surrender. Hmm. And, and I will always say people don't surrender to everybody because everyone is coming and saying, I'm Guru. Hmm. Okay, first you go check what he's saying, is it true or not, hmm. whether he has walked on that path or not. So once we accept it, we have to accept 100% and surrender ourselves. Hmm. Whether it is a yoga, ego or anything whatever he says, we have to just blindly follow. Right. And then third part comes in leaving the process. Hmm. So, so I always say that, you know, like we have not seen a God, right? Mm -hmm. But still we go into mosque and temple, we don't mm -hmm. see a God and, and, that, and the things start happening. It is not yeah. happening because of the God, it is happening because we have Our a belief. belief. Mm -hmm. And that is how energy works. Exactly. The whole uh, universe is, is based on the energy. The energy which you are putting out is coming back to you. Hmm. And the same way when, when, when we believe that okay, these things will work, and then it comes with the making that belief stronger day by day by affirmations or doing meditations, then, becomes, then it becomes more strong and goes into unconscious mind. Hmm. And then the things start working. So, you know, like, like if you, if you, uh, you know, if, if a plant is growing, but there's a lot of things happening down, hmm. which nobody can see, okay? The and roots. And suddenly trees come up. Absolutely. So wow. These are the things we put uh, behind once the result came. In fact, everybody is seeing the result, but is not seeing that before result, these are the things one has to go through. Otherwise, the result will not come just directly. Got it. I think that's very wonderfully put, man. And I'm sure that it will benefit a lot of people who are, you know, kind of struggling and, you know, figuring out their initial way. Uh, Abid, one thing I would like to ask is because I'm sure everybody would love to know which platform organically worked the best for you? Okay, uh, for me, they both the platform worked, uh, 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 but if, if you talked about uh, which one is, 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 has given me more results, uh, it is a uh, Facebook because mm. most of my uh, Facebook on, on Instagram because most of my people are hanging around there. Right. And uh, and though I have also got uh, results from LinkedIn, but the LinkedIn was not that. Uh, I mean, if I compare mm. that the Facebook was uh, right. uh, giving results, and even even you know if I talk about the ad which I have run, mm. 
you know, you have thought about to run so many A-B testing, so mm. many runs. I just done two, three, and mm. they have given me enough of the leads. <laughs> enough of the, I have not done anything. And the lead was coming, say, uh, 30, 40 rupees, which was converting into, uh, you know, 50,000 mm. rupees. So, <laughs> in a total there, you know, how, how, how many rupees ad I have run? I have just run an ad of 7,000 rupees. Wow. That's it. And how much did you generate? Less than 10,000 rupees. And how much? I, I, yeah, sorry. How much did you make from that? I have made around uh, 5 lakh rupees. Wow. So se- spent around 7,000 and made 5 lakh. When you less than 10,000 rupees, exactly less than 10,000 rupees. And, wow. Uh, and, and got like 5 lakh rupees. <laughs> wow. So, and, and I have not run, you know, the way you have told to run so many ads. So I have just run uh, two. Yeah, three, three A-B testing, three ads, three different audience and three different images and uh, that's it. And then wow. I run for, for a week and, and uh, big time and then I got so many leads and then I start closing and I stop the ads. So maybe, you know, I run 10 days and 15 days, that's it. Wow. Next now, level. Because, because at the beginning, the, the way you have taught us is to, to go first you know, do by yourself, understand all the process and everything, then go into the group coaching mm. and then come into the mm. course uh, course path. So I was, at, uh, you know, at the first stage where I was doing everything by mo- myself to understand the whole process. Mm. So then I will go into the next step where I may, you know, now uh, go and add, uh, run ad uh, uh, maybe on continuous uh, basis. But at the beginning, I have not run uh, ad on continuous basis. Wow, man, this is like huge returns. And I mean, compared to your fixed cost business, like you would see exponential returns over here. So, Excellent. Uh, and Abhid, like how much are you at per month now? Like as you said in your application, so you started from like zero and now you're at one to three lakhs per month. Is that correct? Yes, yes. As if I say I'm continuous, though I have stopped it running ad and I'm not doing because of me, because the... the uh, the clients who have come to me and I would like to give them a result first and then, you know, move uh, to the next level. Mm-hmm. And uh, so three, four lakh is, is like like basic minimum and I could go on and on if I have, you know, if I, if I hire a team which I would uh, definitely and, and come into, come to you for, for that kind of help also later on right. uh, in terms of uh, selecting the uh, sales uh, guys and all these mm-hmm. things. That will go into the next level. But yes. Uh, three four lakh is, is not a big and which, wow. which is very very nice. Wow man and so do you remember what was your salary back then when you were doing the private limited thing? <laughs> My salary was the director of fifty thousand rupees. Wow. So uh, fifty so fifty thousand rupees as a director and then all the other expenses, uh, you know, so it, it might have gone to a one lakh rupees including other expenses. My petrol and, and, and all these things. So everything was in my hand, but you know, officially my salary was uh, uh, fifty thousand. But if you compare that from making fifty thousand to making three four lakhs, and you have not even like started this properly, right? You still have yes, yes. you have to still go and run your ads and you know doing your team and everything. So congratulations, Avi. Like, how are you feeling, man? I'm feeling great, and I'm very much sure that you know this could you know easily I can I can convert that into a ten lakh rupees per month. And which I've already planned in terms of my uh, the whole year things now because the testing phase and is over now and I have to completely uh, uh, running it the way it should be. So ten lakh rupees what I'm mm-hmm. get, uh, targeting for month and it is I think it is very very achievable. It is very easy and uh, I started teaching to my student also. They are also getting start getting results and the, uh, one of my uh, student his name is Arvind Padmaraju. Mm. Uh, and he is doing great, great, great. He started having, you know, three, four lakh rupees now wow. uh, uh, every month. And then he, we are going uh, with him also next level where uh, I, I have taught him how to go for them, uh, to hire new uh, trainers uh, under his organization, his mm. organization name. So that is also uh, uh, doing uh, wonderful things. A couple of people who are in the line on, online to go. Uh, to the next level where they were struggling for 25,000, 50,000 rupees 
Now, these people are also going uh, next level wow. and they are creating their fortune because I, I also help them uh, to understand it, it, you know, the day has gone where you have to depend on one thing. You have to create a, a multiple source of income and multiple source of income in terms of not going and saving some vegetables. On the mm. same line, you know, you're doing uh, uh, your uh, consultancy, you're doing your courses, you're doing other things, but one by one, one, one by one. And uh, so a couple of my clients also doing great and uh, uh, the same thing because, because what you have taught I have applied on myself I am just saying the same thing to them and they are also uh, you know, applying on them so it is working great. Wow man like that's wonderful and congratulations again again, Abid for not only yourself but the clients who are also getting benefit out of this. So Abid just before you go I just have final few two questions left uh, that I want to cover. Uh, the next one is, you know, Abid, if you could, let's say, go back in time, right, and talk to the Abid who was kind of like struggling with this whole digital domain and, you know, back when you were, um, you know, just had quit your f- fixed cost business, your e-commerce business, your Amazon business, and now you were struggling and you were thinking what to do now. What advice would you go give to that Abid if you could go back in time and talk to him? You know, if I if uh, if I just compare now uh, uh, myself in terms of these two uh, great transformation happens, okay. But every stage we think that okay, I am right. Most of the time, every stage when we we progress, we think that okay, I am right. What I'm doing is right. Hmm. Uh, but when when you cross that stage and that move ahead, then you understand okay how foolish I was. You know, even if you if, even if you go back and you, you remember your school days where you have played uh, smartest guy in school, smartest mm-hmm. guy in college, and you thought okay you are the smartest at that point of time, and then later on once you move and then you thought and you remember those things uh, you know seen and you realize you know, how stupid I was. So the same goes here. Okay, so if I look at that point of time and then I still think okay you no know, these things doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Why? Uh, uh, the mindset because uh, the kind of experience I had with a couple of people, a couple of courses, whether I have taken international courses as well mm. and then uh, that kind of belief I have developed in myself that this, this doesn't work, okay, these all people just promise the things and it doesn't work, the business being a real business where you have an office, you have a stock, you have an employee, you have all these things ready, that is a real business, these are not a business, they are fictitious things, it is just a story, hmm. okay, and showing the story. Now, so if I see the, the difference now, so then I realize, no, this, this is a real business, this could be a scalable business, this could be a sustainable business, and having a much more freedom, much more impact, hmm. and and, and what I was thinking was completely foolishness, hmm. okay? So now uh, I give the, uh, the suggestion or I give uh, you know, uh, the advice to my old self that never ever develop your belief based on one or two experience. Right. Okay? Based on one or two experience because if, if one one or two experience gone wrong, it doesn't mean everything will go wrong. Exactly. You you again uh, the same principle. Come check. Do the do the complete background check of the of the person you would like to surrender. Surrender the person. Follow his instruction and then move move from there. Got it. Wonderful piece of advice, man. Like, you know, never base your judgment based on one or two experiences. And that's what a lot of people do. So great advice. Abid, uh, in case anybody watching this video wants to learn more about what you do, or maybe they want to check out your, um, you know, website or anything, what's like the best way to get in touch with you? It's just very simple. It's uh, they could check my website. It's called uh, abidalikhan.com. Uh, and they could, you know, directly uh, uh, get in touch with me. It's abid uh, at abidlikhan.com. That is an email. They can also go and, and uh, uh, connect with me on my group, uh, which I run on Facebook. It's called Health and Fitness Business Growth Mastermind. And uh, that's how they could, they could connect. And they can also have a strategic call with me one on one. So I could, you know, if, if they are really struggling in terms of health and fitness business and uh, uh, their personal training, they could, uh, I could just uh, show them the way how to, 
they can go to the next level where they could you know really impact more people and create a fortune for themselves got it so what i'll do is i'll take this information from abid and i'm going to put them in the description below so that anybody watching this by all means go check him out he's really good at what he does especially uh, you know anybody in the fitness field i'm sure that he could actually help you get phenomenal results so abid uh, just uh, you know last question i had in case anybody watching this video like they are they are struggling you know they are thinking that you know should i join you ability should i not join you ability they are kind of like on the fence deciding right so what's like your final piece of advice to them what would you say to them okay i will say this is not a new thing okay and this is a very psychological thing what is happening with them Uh, and this happens with me as well and every time i have joined a new course it happens with me hmm. okay and uh, why it happens because of the experience we go through the kind of uh, gurus they call themselves a guru but basically is just a talk hmm. i'm not saying that everybody is the same i'm talking hmm. most of the people are so the same thing happened to me as well okay hmm. and then i have done uh, my complete research on you Hmm. I'm being friend, I'm being friend with her because I wanted to pay you money. I wanted to. It's not about the money. I wanted to hand over myself to you. Hmm. Okay. So once I'm going to completely surrender to you, then I have to do the uh, you know uh, uh, check on 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 how uh, what you are saying is right or wrong. So hmm. I've gone on internet. I've done all all the research, all all the positive negative reviews. and then i uh, then i checked who in in uh, 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 in my friend list who is connected with you uh, then i have uh, you know spoken with him and uh, he was having the same thing like i said romit has said to me just go blindly and uh, join me. and that's what i have done then then i directly gone and joined so anybody is having doubt it is having doubt is is real if you have you, you, one should not Uh, think that why I'm having uh, uh, you know doubt. It is very very real. So you have a doubt, you just go and check everything, and then surrender. Once you have uh, and and what I will say, if, if somebody is not really joining you, and they would like to walk into this field, they are just losing every day. Okay, they are just losing every day because the kind of information uh, available with you is phenomenal. Okay, and anybody could change in just nine days. anybody wow. could change just 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 they have to surrender so oh, even i say to the people if you have a doubt then first of all clear the doubt and once the doubt is clear just jump in even if you don't have a, uh, you know money right now you adding the money from anywhere mm-hmm. and i always give this example like if if my loved one got the corona in the corona kal mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. i would adding the money from anywhere mm-hmm. you know even i will sell my kidney absolutely person so if if somebody is not really wanting in that intensity then they should not join it <laughs> okay i will say not join if you don't want you know if you don't have that intensity if you have that intensity go and you will earn the money and once you you come into the system once you come and join the community then you surrender yourself don't keep any you go just surrender and follow the instruction 90 days enough to change 90 days is enough to earn 2 3 lakh rupees per month and that 2 3 lakhs rupees can really make a difference in your life can change the way you behave can change the happiness in your family can change the image in the society you know when the people are considering you a failure can immediately reconsider you as a successful person wow so that's my advice first to the most people who are just having to do or not to do. just do it so how Avi, thank you so much, man, for taking out the time and doing this interview. I'm sure that people have learned a lot from your story, and you have helped a lot of people as well. So thanks again, man, and wish you nothing but the best, and keep going. Thank you very much, Rohan, for your time, and uh, I hope that you will always support us the way you have been supporting, and uh, it will be great journey for all of us. Yeah, thank man, you. absolutely.